Good morning, Mr. Buenos Dias. Hello, gentlemen. Morning. Morning, mister. All right. Fine morning, morning mister. Buy me a drink, mon ami, huh? Hello! Sure, what you want? Brandy! Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Oh. Thank you. Santé. <clears throat> ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Hmm? I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. <clears throat> How very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very French. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, all ass. Mm? Asshole? Mm. That too. That too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No. I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris. No. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Mmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Hmm? I guess so. Mm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles, you know Arthur? Don't believe in art. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. They're the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina... That is truth. Breasts is truth. Art is for idiots. If you say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better. Much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm. No matter. Good meeting you. Mm. Sir, will you help the poor? I ain't so kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, Father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do, and God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. Sure. Bless you, sir. How are you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, um, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but, well, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm, well, 
Poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. Like Saint Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe it. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. I'd really appreciate it if you take a look. Hey, mister. Glad to see you, Jason. Susan. Joseph. Morning, friend. Hey, y'all. Hey. Hey, ho. Hi there. How can Careful. I help you? Some dangerous folk around here. Hi, ma'am. Susan. 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 You know what? I'm feeling good today. Hi there, mister. Uh, feel free to browse. Shall do. Got a few paintings over there. Uh, something for the wife, maybe? A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? What? Where are they? Who? People you're hiding. I know they're here. Don't lie to me. Please, they made me do it. I was always good to them, but they, they, they forced me to do it, sir, I swear. Where are they? Uh, the, there's a door behind the bookcase there. Just pull the big red book called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. This is my brother's door. I I'm just watching it while he's away. Oh, hello? Shh, cállate, cállate. Come with me. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. I promise. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. Who is this man? I don't know. We're free, if that's what matters. We have to confiar in him. Brother... Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh, my. That's... 
Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, you forgot this? Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment. For your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. What? <laughs> Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. You no, know, strong liquor. Over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. Ooh. There's plenty of real booze here. <laughs> but for shine, well. I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Oh, to shine? Yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> hundred gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. For good cause. Well... If anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. Mister? on through. Go on, then.
Hello, ma'am. How do you do? Uh, you, mister, excuse me. How do you do, sir? Oh, I caught some reprobate shambling around my backyard yesterday. How do you do? Went straight. To Hello, the sirs. Hello. Hello there. Glad you dropped in. I've got that, uh, information you asked for. Um, need something more specific this time. A wagon full of moonshine. Well, you might just be in luck. I knew I picked the right feather to speak to. Blow me down. How do you do? Hello. Hello, mister. How's your look? Thought to help talking about that boy you got killed in Rhodes. Quite some that poster, eh? If I looked like that, I would have pursued a more dishonest path myself. I happen to know that feller is farming the swamp. Ah, hello. Or trying to. Sorry, I still walk I don't have anything for you right now. Look. Leaving me, huh? So, yeah, we'll leave this then. <laughs> what you fools up to? Is Mr. Black's fault? His fault, the darky white. Well, I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Come All on. Right. And I'll tell right. you, you lily liver. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay, even for a darky. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had it up to here with you. Enough. Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat? Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! Okay, girl. Yeah. Mister, I need that poster. There's been a recall. I weren't born yesterday. This one's mine, so you can go and get your own. <laughs> Out of the way! You taking liberties, boy? God damn it! Easy. I I'm looking to stab him. I mean, I lost him. You dirty bastard! 
Someone must have seen an Englishman. Really funny here. <laughs> Get this off of me. Hey! Hey! This is uh, very kind of you. Was mine. I'm looking for my friend. Gavin. Let's go, girl. Go until you get this right. I oh, they're here for your bounty. Oh, talk to Mama, boy. Don't shoot. I'm an arm. We knew you was coming. I got something to ask. I'm a changed man, okay? Let me say my farewells. I'll come away peaceable. Make it quick. You're a forgiven man. Boy, come here. Listen. Exactly as I say. You hear? Don't, don't leave us, Pop. I ain't gonna fight you in front of my family. Okay? If you wanna take me, take me. You gonna take me? Or what? Take me away, or let me loose. He's showing us clemency. Go, before he changes his mind. Go. Leave my daddy alone. 
feel it leaving. Shit. Don't look away, boy. You remember this moment. You're the man now. Be a man, boy. So, what do you got for me? <coughs> Come on, man. I love you, Daddy. Enough with that. Just remember what I said, boy. What was the point of all that? Could have got your neck broke. Premature. Like the boy said. Let him go back to his all your friends, ain't it? You shouldn't have done that. And now look what's happened. Dead because of you. Damn it. I knew you was being quiet. Hey there, girl. Johnson. Johnson. What? Just, you're real quiet back there. Most captured men, they beg or they cry or they rail against fate. Is Rhodes. You're almost shot of me. I'm ready. I hope they make it quick. Oh, Lord. Found this feller on a small holding. Name's Mark Johnson. You can only run so long, son. There's your cell. You're lucky it's not a grave. I was out in the bayou. Wasn't hurting no one. Maybe you weren't. But those partners of yours were a rough bunch. Go to hell. That's the price for Johnson. I didn't take it, someone else would have. Tell me something. 
that bounty hunter? You ain't wider than white. I hope your past catches up with you. I ain't as bad as you made out there. Bad, but they worse than worse. You always love one for gossip. Jeff Joe Mingle thought gossip, gossip, gossip. 